I'm just coming. <laughs> yeah. Wait, the 46 this way. <laughs> oh my god. I'm literally running to my game right now. Please don't take off without me. What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Benjamin Hardin and I create and upload these travel and lifestyle videos just like this one. So if that's an interest to you, consider subscribing. Many, many things have happened since we last spoke. So let's catch up and dive right in to this one. So what's happened in the last three months? Uh, I've basically just been getting my head down and working loads. I got given a, offered a job um, as a labourer on this construction site. I was working there every day, full time, five, six days a week, 40 hours a week, just to get the money back in so I could have it in the bank to when I was gonna go travel again. Um, in the news over the past couple of days, um, we're currently in stage four um, of a second wave of the corona pandemic. Um, there's talks about going into a stage four. Um, and if that did happen, then I would have lost my job. Um, when this happened, I was going through a state of so many decisions that I was trying to figure out. I was like, what's, what's the best idea to, to, to fix this? So I got my notepads and I wrote out all my options of what's the best move to take next. After doing this, I came up with the most important viable option, which had less risk, which was a gut feeling to leave. Now, I thought this quite over quite a bit, and you'll probably notice that the wardrobe behind me is empty and my bags are just here. The reason for this is because tomorrow morning, um, I get on my one-way flight and I fly to Darwin, Northern Territory. Now, when I first started this journey, like Darwin was actually never a place that I kind of wanted to go to. Um, but looking at all the different options and the one that's gonna kind of serve me best for, the, for, for future prospects, this one came out on top. So I'm super excited for such a spontaneous decision that I've made and I'm really excited to get you guys to come and enjoy this journey with me. And uh, yeah, let's get moving and I hope this goes all right, I hope it goes well. We're on the move again. Just arrived at the airport, just got dropped off by my neighbour, lovely guy. Just on the way to Terminal 4 to go drop off our bags. Got a mask on, we're ready. Here we go again. Terminal 4, that's right. Hey.
downstairs um, after trying to get through customs, um, basically they told me that um, you need to have uh, visual proof of why you're wanted in Darwin. So when I spoke to this lady about the firework job, she rung me, she didn't email me, so that's what I'm going to try and do now, get the confirmation from her, as well as have the border permit in order to get through customs today. I fly at quarter past nine, it's now quarter to eight, so I don't know what times the, times the office in Darwin open, this is going to be cutting it quite short. She also said that if I can't get it, I can't fly today, so I've emailed him twice, I've rung the office, so fingers crossed, fingers crossed this works. Oh God, I hope it does, I hope it does. Oh my days, my heart is absolutely shaking. I've just managed to get through customs. I had to ring up the Northern Territory government, Michelle on the phone, to speak to the health official to get me through. Mate, I'm literally shaking here. Right, where's my gate? 46, 46, 46. Which way are we going? 30 to 52. <sighs> Mate, that was ridiculously difficult. The most, the hardest, hardest situation I've had to try and squeeze through. Oh, so shaky, mate, honestly. If I didn't get onto this plane, I would have had to reschedule. I don't know if I'd have been able to do that. I'm gonna be late, but let's get, let's get going. I'm just coming. Yeah. We're the 46 this way. Benjamin Harden.
So I've just literally arrived to the regional centre um, after getting off the flight. The first time being in this room, let me show you where we are. This is, this is my home for the next two weeks on quarantine. We've got the bed, we've got the desk with the drawers. Let's have a look at, is, is this the fridge? No, that's not the fridge, <laughs> that's a drawer. And there's the fridge, nice. Got a few things in there. Oh, there's water in there. Yes, love it. Nice. Yeah, you got to stay here for 14 days, forced quarantine. Um, just spoke to people that brought us in. Let me show you outside real quickly. It's so warm here, it's so, so hot. This is my little balcony. Got a bit of sunshine here. And this is kind of the facility. Just as he like mad. So it's my first full day here at Howard Springs, also known as, and I don't know if I'm gonna pronounce this correctly, Managurma Village. Nice one. This is the little plaque that we got given uh, yesterday uh, when we arrived, basically about all the information about the quarantine and how, how we go about it. In terms of being here, uh, in terms of the country as well, um, it's completely different to, to Melbourne, obviously the weather, feels like a different country. It's double the temperature up here. I think it's like 30, 32 today. Did a little bit of a scout around the place. Um, it's a bit of a maze, but uh, it's, it's, it's beautiful. It's nice up here. The sun's gorgeous and I've got pretty much 13, an extra 13 days of this before I decide on making another plan uh, to, to see what to do next. But for now, it's been amazing, it's been good, and yeah, I'm just looking forward to a bit of downtime after working for so, for so long and uh, chilling out. So, that is all for me today with this episode. I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching. If so, don't forget to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button for more travel and lifestyle content. And of course, we'll see you guys back in the next video. Take care guys and see you soon.